Hi there, Spark fans, Rob Reynolds here. One of the reasons that we make so many of the products that we do is for rapid prototyping. And one of the most important parts of rapid prototyping is the rapid part. I do it, you do it, NASA does it. So many of us just want to put our project together and test it and try it in different configurations. And companies understand we don't want to spend the bulk of our time etching boards and resoldering, so they've been clever enough to come up with modular ecosystems. We've done it, lots of companies have done it. But we thought, why not increase the speed of rapid prototyping exponentially by combining multiple prototyping ecosystems? So that's what we did. Working together with Microelectronica, we're releasing our new SparkFun Micromod Microbus Carrier Board. Our Micromod Microbus Carrier Board takes advantage of the Micromod, Quick, and Microbus ecosystems, making it easy to rapidly prototype with each of them combined. Now the board itself is not overly complicated or overloaded with tech. It's got an M.2 Micromod connector for your processor board. There's a Microbus socket for the Micro E Click boards, a pair of Quick connectors, one vertical and one horizontal, a USB-C connector for simple programming as well as battery charging via the onboard charge circuit. There's a 3.3 volt, one amp voltage regulator and a pair of buttons, one for boot and one for reset. Now, if you're more of the breadboard type, we've broken out a number of pins at 2.54 millimeters, including controller in and out, reset, interrupt, power, ground, you know, the usual suspects. For more advanced programming options, including software debug, the carrier board includes JTAG PTH pins for a JTAG header to be used with the MicroE MicroProg for STM32 programmer or the MicroE Code Grip for STM32 programmer. So you're aware of our quick environment. You probably know about our Micromod system, but you might not know what I'm referring to when I talk about Microbus. The Microbus ecosystem is the modular development environment from Microelectronica, or MicroE, and boasts the world's largest collection of add-on boards known as Click Boards. There are currently over a thousand Click Boards that you can use with the Micromod Microbus carrier board. There are currently over 80 Quick Boards that can be used with this carrier board. And because you're not limited to just a single click board nor a single quick board, the number of possible combinations is in the millions. As is the case with all of our Micromod carrier boards, you'll also need to pick up a Micromod processor board to go with it. And in this case, we're recommending the STM32 processor board, as that's currently the only one supported by Necto Studio, which is Microelectronica's SDK for their Micro E system, and the Arduino IDE. But when building this board, we were looking to the future. So rather than just embedding an STM32 onto it, we gave it a Micromod port, knowing that our engineers, as well as the engineers over at Microelectronica, are working to expand the number of usable processors for it. And rather than locking you into a single processor or forcing you to buy a new carrier board every time you wanted to try something new, we stuck with the modular nature of the board. So when you take the potential number of processors, combine that with the number of quick boards and the number of click boards, the number of potential build combinations rivals Avogadro's number. Now, I want to point out that this is not an entry-level board. It's fairly complex, involving three separate ecosystems utilizing two different development environments. As I mentioned, while it is possible to program using Arduino, you're really going to want to use the Micro SDK and Necto Studio to take full advantage of the incredible range of power and what this board has to offer. If you're super excited about the potential that this board has, but you're just getting into electronics, I would recommend against this. I would actually recommend something like our SparkFun Inventors Kit. And even if you're more advanced, but you haven't yet touched our Micromod system, maybe spend some time with our Micromod Quick Carrier Board and a SAMD51 processor. Just like I wouldn't give my 16-year-old a Pagani Zonda to learn to drive, neither would I recommend this board for someone just starting their adventures in programming. However, like the Zonda, when you're ready for it, there is nothing else like it. So when you are finally ready to take full advantage of this board, there are a few other accessories that you're going to need. As you can see here, I've got my Micromod Microbus Carrier Board with the STM32 Processor Board. Now to that, I've added a 2x5 male JTAG header, which will allow me to connect the 50 to 100 mil adapter to the flat 10 pin cable to my JTAG programmer. I've also got a Micro E Terminal Click here, another advanced programming option under the Weather Click. If you want a more in-depth look at the MicroE universe and what we have to offer, check out Avra's video introducing MicroE, its specs, and some of the boards we're currently offering. So tap into modular expansion your way with MicroE and SparkFun. You can pick up your SparkFun Micromod Microbus Carrier Board along with your Micromod Processor Boards, Click Boards, and Quick Boards over at SparkFun.com. And hey, stay safe, be kind, and happy hacking.
Roll tape. You're probably aware of our Micromod ecosystem. That's not an ecosystem, is it? Click, not quick, click. So this may get confusing. All right, let's start that again. My dream is to one day have less footage of bloopers than footage of actual stuff we use. To incorporate more usable processors in it. That's not what I say. No. To try a different processor. We've stuck with the, what's the word? Modular. Modular. <laughs>